that feeling. That's what GeoGuessr is. Really relaxing, but also... Well, I thought it gets put into it, I guess. Anyway, here we are. Interesting and unusual photospheres. This place is weird, was the theme, I guess. So, I mean, this is the same guy again who, uh, who did Mondays. This is just a different theme. I like some of the themes this dude's got, so... Uh, this is just, I'm pretty much certain this is going to be a terrible score as far as what I'm going to get here today, because this is just weird and bizarre. I have no idea what this is. This looks like some, um, someone lovingly created like, a one of the areas for, I have no mouth and I must scream. Or a Tomb Raider type thing. Like I like there's writing on the wall, but this is for all I know gibberish. Like we're inside concept art for uh um like an independence day. You're inside one of the ships. Or like a Battlestar Galactica, but five or six levels below that as far as a uh budgetary thing is. Although this is Got a lot of money for being that low budget with these aquariums in here, but they got a gift shop. I have zero idea what the fuck this feels like. All right. Um, try to picture what inside, what the inside of a pyramid would be if aliens did it. Like these pillows make me think we're in the Midwest, but nothing else here makes me think that. Like, there's a lot of fucking fish tanks. Like, I've pretty much given myself up to the idea that, no, I am not going to get a very high score this time. I'm just seeing some of these really weird-ass places. And just being like, huh, all right, this place is weird. But what this is, like, it can't completely commit to being an aquarium. Like, it feels like it needs to be something else. Like, maybe this is Atlantis. Like, someone's idea of what Atlantis would look like. And if this was, what they think Atlantis would look like. Although, some of this architecture, this, like, I don't know why I'm trying to think I'm going to actually, like, suss out what this is with some of the way this architecture looks. Because it's just very much all over the place. And now we finally hit back to zero. Ground zero here with whatever the hell this suit's supposed to be. <clears throat> well, this certainly is uh, unusual. Whether or not it's interesting, it's still up in the air. Very much feels like a friggin'. Yeah, okay, I've already been down here. So I gotta make a choice. And. I think there's potentially three places all at least around the U.S. that this could be. I can see this being a big waste of money in a place like Vegas. I could see this being some place in Arizona for no other reason. Or this could be like in Bermudas or the Bahamas. Some place where Atlantis would be. And I think the safe bet... It's just going to be Vegas because where else is it going to be? Let's find out. Oh, that's where else it could be is in fucking Dubai. In the Atlantis. Well, I wasn't, I was right, but I was wrong. Well, yeah. Okay. I'm going to see if I can get zero points this entire time. Like, there is nothing I saw. Well, maybe you could have thought that some of that Sanskrit written there was actually that. But this is going to harken back kind of to that it was either like one of the first five episodes, at least, of GeoGuessr I ever did where it had to do with, like, impossible places. This is going to be kind of the same thing. And 
I'm probably not going to get above 5,000 points. That's my safest bet. Now, this potentially could be in a place in Canada or in Scandinavia. So I don't know. There's only one photo exists in this place. I'm looking at antlers up here. They could be moose, they could be caribou, they could be elk. All of those things are in the Northern Hemisphere. Can I tell anything by you? No. All right, next thing I'm going to do is look for an outlet. Outlet will tell me at least where in the world we are. Those look not like North American ones. These could be this part. And also, this very well could be Southern Hemisphere, but I feel that these are European outlets because I feel like they're like sockets. Oh, wait, this may actually be a better view. Mm, it's not. All right. This is almost like a. Oh, there's a plug. Yeah, that does not feel like a North American one. So that's all I got. Hmm. I'm just going to say we're in Norway, but I got nothing else. That's my line of reasoning. I don't know if I'm going to find anything else here that'll tell me where we are. I think this is it. All right, so I don't think I'm going to find anything else. I can't think of potentially something else that would tell me where we are. Yeah, looking around, I feel this is about as confident as I'm going to get. Okay, so at least I got the peninsula right. I feel pretty clever I came up with that outlet thing. Well, that's David Cross. <laughs> this feels like it could be... Are we going to throw me for a loop that that's Los Angeles? Because this very much feels like a... Uh, like South America down here, because this feels like somewhere around here. Like, I remember driving through some of these roads here, and the mountains, at least in South America around here, looked exactly like this. The uh, very gray, with no trees or any vegetation really around it. Like, where this is next to a hand. And the hand looks weird, too. Like, it feels like the thumb... It doesn't go high enough up on the hand, like all the digits from the palm up, like this stuff, it feels too long. But very much feel like, let's see where the steering wheel is. Can I see that? It looks like it's on the left-hand side, so it's at least not British. But I very much feel this is, this is down here in this, this neck of the woods. That's about... All I can suss out here, unless this is the moon, but it's not. These rocks don't really help. So let's see how close I am. I can't, I don't think I'm going to suss anything else out from this. Another quick cut, and yeah, I, did, I felt pretty uh, confident. What was this thing called? Mano, the man of the desert. All right. Well, I've gotten more points than I thought I was going to mainly from <laughs> so we got a beatboxing donkey with a very old boombox and by old I mean it's from the 80s so is there anything here that's going to tell me where we are first things first again is always look for outlets if I can't find any like official wording for anything kind of like this sign here okay that doesn't help me hmm well the door opens what do we got here what the hell is acme studio okay well brooklyn acme is a photo video studio rent seven days a week so this is just a giant house of tchotchkes that you can do like photo ops like this dude here who's just posing as a donkey with a boom box so it's a weird place, but this is just essentially a room full of props. This is like, if you go to an Applebee's and you see all the stuff on the walls, this is just a more expensive version of that. And if that offends you, Acme, whatever, this is just how, I, how I'm 
perceiving this. There's Brooklyn. Right in this area. I, I'm, I, there's no way I'm going to actually like find it here. I mean, I don't think I, I haven't really been to, uh, New York all that much, but am I, am I going out of the photo? I feel like, okay, I'm not, this is the edge of it. That's a New York license plate. And we've got ourselves some, uh, what is that? Something Robin. Let's see what we got here. Messenger S entrance. And it's some pretty cool looking art they have here, though. Something, please, Mr. Monkey, don't eat me. I mean, monkeys don't eat bones. This is very much just a loft 402. Hmm. 212, I believe, is New York area code, by the way. Like New York City, excuse me. Uh, but since I kind of got this place, I just want to see this place now. Because this is just essentially just weird. That's kind of all they're going for here. So, I mean, I don't, it, it feels disingenuous, but also this is kind of what this place is for. It's serving a purpose for like, hey, we're Zanny and Wild. I may be dismissing this place horribly, but it just seems weird. Like, if I had a way of expressing my words better than I do in order to saying this is disingenuous because it's a giant area that's just full of the weird things. Like, look, it's a weird guy in a suit. Oh, look, it's a animal, a bust, just upside down on a wall. Isn't that weird? Here's some old vintage stuff. It's cool stuff. Like, almost, it's a little too crowded for it to be in a movie. But I can see something like this just being like someone's um, sleeve art for their CD. It's just a weird little room. There's like dust and stuff everywhere, very weathered. Like I, I would almost like this isn't actually the way the wood was. We just made it this way so it looks weathered. I'm, I'm thinking way too much into it, I think. But uh, cool space. Oh, we were farther up. And this place is... Called J Crew. <laughs> well, definitely a higher score than I thought I was going to get. I'm going to keep saying that. Oh, this is. This was definitely not what I was expecting to see from this turn here, but. Well, this feels Caribbean, Spanish influenced architecture. And by influence, I think just straight up Spanish architecture. If I had to choose a place, I feel that this is like Haiti or Dominican Republic, even though Haiti is really a French thing, but a lot of this stuff around here kind of was, I don't want to say traded back and forth between different European countries, but um, uh, I feel that, I feel it's this. I mean, I've already way surpassed what I thought I was going to get for a score here. So I'm just going to say we're in Santo Domingo. But I don't know. Let's just take a look and see if I can't see anything else here. This is definitely a slave trade thing. They got some tourism, it looks like. I can't really make out what this building is. But it feels tropical to me. Like all the concrete kind of has that mildewy mold on it. But, yeah, there's some definitely interesting places. Um, I don't know if it's fair. I mean, I very well could have missed it. That, especially with that first one, unless, like, you had some sort of outside knowledge, there was no way you are going to really find out what that was, unless I missed it. I mean, like I said, um, maybe it's not fair to put things on here that you can't tell where it is like there's no little hint in the uh in the entire area that you're walking around to actually be able to find it granted you could say that about that hand but i kind of knew that okay the mountains in south america kind of look like this but where it was inside that building in the first one 
yeah, it looked like Atlantis, but it was all manufactured stuff that kind of just looked like anybody could have built this in their basement. It re- there really wasn't any defining features. I mean, you could kind of say that some of the writing, like the Sanskrit, that maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I'm not a smart person to be able to tell that. Um, you weren't able to really figure out where that was. It could have just been some guy in a basement who had a million dollars really liked Atlantis, so he made his basement into it. Like, it was just something you could have seen on MTV Cribs instead of, no, this was Dubai. But I'm complaining too much about it. I don't think I'm going to find anything else here that's going to tell me anything as to where we are. Let's see if I actually got the country right. No. (laughs) Well, we were actually in uh, Zanzibar, huh? What is this thing called? Let's zoom. I have no, I did not at all consider this. Hmm. Interesting, though. This is the first time I've gotten... Oh, I, I, they gave me a point. Two god-awful guesses here, but... Uh, so these things were kind of interesting. Um, I think maybe for Fridays, if I do another one by this guy, I think I might actually try to... Maybe not do Photosphere. Or, I don't know, maybe this, this whole guy's thing is Photosphere. But... We'll worry about that on Friday. Uh, congratulations. You're halfway through the week. You keep plugging along. It keeps throwing things in your way. You just got to put your head down and keep walking through it. That's what we're going to try to do here, too. Two days down, one more to go. That's all I'm counting is three days a week, not seven, because I don't do seven days worth of stuff. Whatever. doesn't matter. Day's done. Map's done. Have a good one, folks. We'll see you here real soon. Goodbye.